My doorbell just rang. I was about to sit down and work a little bit in Fusion 360, but this just showed up. It's a uh, USB audio interface. I want to try it out. Um, I have been using the Shure X2U. It's great. Um, many thanks to Egghead for supplying it, but uh, I may need two of them at one point, and I felt it might be a good idea to try this out. So why don't we take a look at what's inside? So, so of course it comes with a USB cable because they're good people like that. Of course I have a bunch of these, but that's okay. And some instructions. Probably the warranty. Yeah. Ableton. I don't know. That'd be interesting. I, I don't know anything about Ableton. But whatever. Some instructions. But let's look at the interface. So. Hmm. Yep. That's kind of what I was. Oh, see, look at that. So they don't give you a connector, but. A power supply but it's a simple 5 volt I'll hold it this way simple 5 volt DC so pretty much any barrel jack not barrel jack um, power supply you would use for probably a um, what's gonna call it Raspberry Pi or battery powered with two double A's and yeah, there you go. HR6, LR6. So these are uh, rechargeable, I think, right? Neat. Got a gain, output, input. So this should get hooked up, I think. So before I hook it up, I just thought I'd show you. I didn't turn it this way. So here's some interesting things. So you know, when you have a mic that requires phantom power, there's a phantom power on off here, a direct monitor. So you can plug in headphones and monitor from here. Oh, line in. Okay. And then the power source. Now I wasn't paying attention. Obviously I should have been, but if you see here, when you plug in, this is plugged into my Mac and when you plug it in, that's powered. Fantastic. Turn on the, the phantom power. Gain volume. All right. So let's try this again. Because the next part of this is done um, on the computer, I'm going to do a screen grab of it. I'll, uh, I'm just going to show you what's going on. I have a small lav mic connected to an XLR connected to the Zoom. And the Zoom is plugged into the computer over USB. So next part is on the screen. I'm gonna just open up uh, Adobe Audition. Chances are your audio hardware will be already adequate for this, but if you wanna change where your hardware is looking, you go to audio hardware, uh, sorry, Adobe, in the Adobe Audition preferences, uh, audio hardware, and you would use whatever your default input is. In this case, the Zoom U22 driver uh, is what I want, so that's good. I'm gonna start a new multi-track session, whatever your normal settings would be, you know, rock and roll. Uh, so your default stereo input in this case is, in my case, is the, the Zoom U22 driver. So you don't need to change it. It would depend on if you're gonna use different tracks. Um, the U22 doesn't enjoy having two inputs running at the same time. I've, I'm still figuring it out, but right now, if I wanna use an XLR cable, the high Z or high Z doesn't work, but it doesn't matter. So I'm gonna set this to record, but I also wanna do a little monitoring. So here I am checking my input level I'm going to turn that off uh, because the offset uh, 
on the computer to my the latency is is a little it's just off by a little bit and I don't like hearing it while I'm talking so I'll turn that off so I'm not monitoring myself but we go ahead and record uh, my name is Hugh Elliott uh, online you would find me at HughQElliott.com sorry not HughQElliott.com you would find me at HughQElliott so I'm on YouTube under HughQElliott Instagram Twitter Facebook even LinkedIn, I believe, is the same. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you want to find me socially, that's the way to do it. And that's the end of my recording. And we'll just listen back. Uh, my name is Hugh Elliott. Uh, online, you would find me at HughQElliott.com. Sorry, not HughQElliott.com. You would find me at HughQElliott. So I'm on YouTube under HughQElliott, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook even. LinkedIn, I believe, is the same. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you want to find me socially, that's the way to do it. And that's the end of my recording. That's it. That's the U22 recorder plugged in. It worked great. Um, it'll probably, I'll probably use it as opposed to using my sh this Shure. Uh, it just has a nicer feel to it. But you know, in terms of like multi uh, mic recording, I'm going to stick with my Zoom H4n. Uh, it, it works just like this, except you actually do get the various mics. So that's it. Hope you hope you enjoyed that. Hope it was informational.